woman rights activist Didi Adeyanju has taken a swipe at the presidential ambition of the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Bola Tinumbu. Adeyanju said no matter how bad the image of President Muhammadu Buhari might be before Nigerians, he cannot endorse Tinumbu for the 2023 presidency as the latter may ruin the country. He wrote on Facebook, no matter how bad we think Buhari is, I don't think he will allow a Tinumbu misfortune to befall Nigeria. Buhari may hate Nigeria, but I don't think he hates the country that much. Tinumbu will not only use bullion vans to destroy the country, he will use, he will set the republic to himself. Though he has not openly confirmed it, sources have said Tinumbu is not in presidential ambition ahead of 2023. Many of his loyalists have been campaigning for him already. Some months ago, people loyal to Tinumbu commenced the distribution of branded bags of rice and other food items in Kano to Kano residents. In several photos and videos, residents were seen with bags of rice with the inscription Jagaban Ashiwaju Amit Tinumbu. In December 2020, he met with some scholars who threw their weight behind his 2023 presidential ambition. Tinumbu has also been to Kaduna and Castina states, which are among the states with the largest voting populations in the country. In March, he donated the sum of 50 million naira to victims of a fire outbreak at Castina Central Market in Castina state. In September, campaign posters for the APC leader to run for Nigeria's president in 2023 emerged in London, United Kingdom. And in a viral video shared, images of the APC leader were on display at some London trans train stations. Several groups have been complaining for the APC leader and showing support for his presidential ambition, even though he has yet to officially declare his interest in succeeding Buhari in 2023. Adverts were also said to be on display at the popular London's Heathrow Airport with Inubu's photographs splashed on the walls okay well whosoever that is eligible to contest let them come out it is not nigeria that we say we want this we want that but one thing is that nothing goes for nothing and nothing happens without anything because you see that a lot of people are talking more about tinubu and if you see most you know if you want to come in a, in a clean slate you will see that there are no good records people but but majority of the people or some of the people who are always trying to back him up because maybe they feel they are personally affiliated to him or they are getting something from him and that is what happens to most of these politicians ordinarily in a clean slate everybody knows that but why is it that people are always uh, pointing fingers oh he's going to buy this he's going to take over this he's going to take over that that's why i said nothing happens without anything there is no smoke without fire but at the end of the day now nigeria go carry the cross let them carry the cross just like the way we are carrying the cross now let them vote for whosoever they want to vote for that is it because one certain thing and pertinent thing is that somebody cannot just be talked about if you have not done anything that is so hit or so so you know that will make people to begin to suspect you even if you don't see anything, but with the issue of bullion van for people, meaningful people, they will tell you, ah, is it your father's money that was stolen? You see that those people, something is really wrong with them. You can imagine under a normal dispensation, all of them want a better country. In a better country, such things wouldn't have happened. When you talk about bullion van, such things wouldn't have happened. But you will see some people, they will defend rubbish. But one thing is that let everybody go out there, go and test your popularity. Wherever uh, they want to pitch their tent, wherever Nigerians want to pitch their tent, it's their luck. At least we are enjoying, everybody's enjoying this uh, Buhari's regime. Uh -huh. If you call it enjoyment, good and fine. Whatever whatever that you are faced with in this uh, Buhari's uh, regime, you can call it enjoyment, you can call it whatever you are calling it, but everybody knows what is happening. If that's, the Nigeria wants to throw that line, good luck to them good 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 luck to them well i'm still surprised as to how many yoruba friends out of ethnic sentiment we ever support someone like Tinubu to preside 
over the affairs of Nigeria. I am still dumbfounded how people act. The same Tinubu wasted the lives of several youths in Lagos State. Some are thugs, hired assassins, ballots, bus snatchers, and miscreants generally. Again, he's been accused in connection to the killing of Nigerians, of which the Yoruba tribe was worst hit at the NSAS rally last year. I am ego and I only support competent and servant leaders. I do not support some of my brothers here in the East who have a have questionable character. For any elective position, I didn't even support Andy Uba for the governorship contest in Anambra State, and I can't even support him for presidency, even if he's the only Igbo man vying for the presidency of this great nation. Let's be open-minded and not allow our religious and ethnic affiliations come between our choice of quality leaders. That is it. All of them, they were carrying, hey, Oshibajo, this and this and that. Now Oshibajo is there. Tell me whether it's affecting Oshibajo being there is affecting their lives positively. Whether they can boast of, majority of them can boast of three square meals. They can pay their children's school fees. They are living a comfortable life. Ask them. Ask them. The people who are most hit or worst hit, they are the ones that will still be celebrating these people. Something is wrong somewhere. But don't be surprised. Are you still going to be surprised? Even the devil has fans. So what are we talking about? It will continue to be. It has been happening from time in memoria. It has been happening and it will continue to happen. Oh, if not Tinubu, if it can't be like Tinubu, kudos to you. Up to now, I never see any serious youth way one contest for president in 2023, but the old ones have organized themselves. I think it is high time all the youth in Nigeria should come together and bring out someone that we contest so we can even start now and be campaigning for him or her. Everybody will be surprised when Tinubu will become the president. The question is that you see the challenge that uh, this guy did, the video did. People, so, they will tell you that the youth do not have a money to buy to buy uh what do they call it to buy tickets but in within a day somebody contributed 170 million or got 170 million naira because of a, a you know from gifts from birthday gifts so somebody is making a, a tangible this thing well <laughs> until that time we come so this idea of oh i don't have money to do this is on a wash and you can see that the old one will continue to gather themselves because they know how to play the games, whether truthfully or unjustly. They will just have to be there. They know how they play it. So that is even a different thing altogether. But let's see how it goes. Whosoever that wants to vote for anybody, you are free. Definitely, you, you will reap the repercussion. <laughs> There's no doubt about it.